Hello everyone, today we will be discussing the phase 0 studies. Have you ever heard about phase 0 trials? If yes, do let us know in the comment. Uh, do you know that 90% of the new drugs, they never reach to the market. They never ever reach to the market. So journey from a lab to market is tough. It is time consuming. It is expensive. So sponsors or pharma companies, they always try to find a way that how they can reduce these both. Right. Phase one, phase zero is one of the option which will tell you early on that will your molecule be successful or not. Other names of phase zero trials are like pre phase one studies or you can say that proof of concept trials as well. Now, do you know that very first trial was done in back 2007 in oncology? So this was the time when phase zero trial started and in this year very first trial was done. Now coming to next step is that is there any guidance from a regulation because it is not a mandatory trial you know I will show you the uh, you know city.gov as well but it is not a mandatory trial it is always an optional is there any guidance FD has given three examples you know one is their their PKs you know it should be studying uh, pharmacokinetics that is the one example they have given another is the relevant doses of so the product that they are using that should be subtherapeutic it should be subtherapeutic of active substance active pharmaceutical agent should be used you can study pk you can use pharmacological relevant doses but one hundredth dose or dose which can't bring any effect adverse effect so, one hundred dose of actual dose is used in the phase zero trial. That's why it is also known as a micro dosing. So, you may have heard many times that micro dosing trial, this is the reason like one hundredth dose is used. That's why it is known as a micro dosing. So, one you can study PK because these trials are not for therapeutic goal. The goal is not therapeutic. Uh, and second is you can study the relevant pharmacological doses. You definitely can escalate the doses, but there is a limit. And these studies are done to uh, find the mechanism of action of a drug, you know. So these are the three examples of guidance FDA has given. Now, what are the key main benef benefits of these trials? The very first is you know very few patient you can use like 7 to 10 or even less than that that patient can be used and phase 0 trial can be done right that is one second is mostly if you are starting with the phase 1 study you need GMP level product here GLP product is sufficient good laboratory practice if followed sufficient third is you can skip large animal studies because you are directly testing your molecule in the human. So you can skip definitely large animal studies. And another is it save you time and plus money. How? Because now time, because you on, you will be able to make a decision. Is your molecule or product is better or not? Successful or not? Money, because phase one study is expensive to do rather than phase zero trial. Because you can go ahead with the GLP product. Fifth one is you can take an early on decision around the success or a failure of your molecule. So if the molecule doesn't have potential, early on you are able to notice that okay, we need not to go ahead with this molecule. It will save you a lot of money as time. So this is the screenshot from you know ct.gov. You see that it is phase zero trial one of the cancer you know study i have taken it is mentioned as a early phase one because there is no term such terminology so they have chosen early phase one see the number of participants only three so with very less number of participants you, you know phase zero trials are done now is there any downsides of so, these studies yes the biggest criticism of our these trial is on the ethics that they are saying that if it is inhuman it is unacceptable or unethical if you are giving a patient product which is not bringing any therapeutic effect 
because you are using a micro dosing right and the goal of phase zero trial is also not to study the therapeutic impact they are just to learn about the product so this is the big, biggest ethical concern around uh, the phase zero trial but phase zero trials are there to stay because they are helping sponsor to make the decision early on I guess this information will be helpful. If you like uh, our channel, do subscribe, share. This will help channel to grow. Thank you so much.